The life-threatening dangers in tins of pilchards. Food scientist from UNISA, Professor Frank Tabbitt, says the tin fish recall could be because they're contaminated and fatal if consumed. He was speaking to our reporters, Lindela Masikani, who's covering the story for us, and she joins me here in the studio. Before we talk about what he was saying about the dangers of this, uh, what, what, what have you found so far? What's, what's happening? So we got this wind of this information, Jane, on Saturday afternoon, in fact. A source of mine came forward saying, listen, um, my company is having a recall of its Pilchard's brand. And uh, it seems as though they're not trying to really come forward um, towards the public. So could you please try and inquire? So we did. And what we ended up with was a statement from West Point Processors, which is the supplier um, of various Pilchard's brand to a number of convenience stores, your macros, your pick and pays, your shop rights, your checkers, um, where they supply um, a number of uh, tinned fish products in particular pilchards and what we found was that they were recalling around six brands at that point what we knew it was Cape Point your ShopRite your UK um, um, your UK, um, OK brand your U brand um, your Saldana as, as well as your West Point brand mm -hmm. uh, but now following that particular uh, information we now went further to ask the National Consumer Commission have authorities been alerted? Is this recall um, playing out the way it should be? Because what, when we went out into the streets on Sunday, we found that some of these recalled Pilchard uh, products were still on the shelves. And when a recall um, is, is implemented, that product needs to be off the shelves and not, uh, 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 customers are not supposed to be able to buy it. I was able to find several cans and leave the store with those particular cans. And what we knew oh, at the time right, was that we had two codes of this particular uh, supplier's Pilchard's brand that were affected, ZST2 and then ZSC2. But now late last night, the fish, the, the tinned fish regulator or fishing products regulator released a statement late last night saying that they've actually doubled the number of products which are affected. If I can just take you through that, we're looking at Deep Catch, Mama's, OK House Brand, Prime Ocean, Spar, Sunny, ShopRite Ride Brand, Cape Point, Checkers House Brand, U Brand, Saldana, and West Point. And up until yesterday, we had no idea what that particular issue is because the statement from the supplier only said that they are experiencing a canning deficiency which may make the, the fish um, unfit for consumption. But following the statement from the um, NRCS, they're saying that their investigations have revealed revealed um, that the cans were compromised during the source filling step of production um, which could affect the safety of consumers and it means that uh, there's been a, this problem has been manifesting um, uh, during months of storage and so speaking to our food uh, um, uh, food expert or food scientist from UNISA uh, they were suspect, suspecting a, a possible contamination um, of the product meaning that there was um, an issue um, during the production line which may have seen that the the the, the products were not properly sterilized so could before it kill being you? canned. It could definitely kill you, uh, depending on, on 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 how far the bacteria has formed. Uh, we know from speaking to the scientists that uh, there's a number of symptoms that you can look out for, such as vomiting, diarrhea, uh, nausea. But the most um, the most disturb disturbing will be, of course, death. Um, at this stage, no reports um, of anyone having fallen sick uh, from consumption. But that is because authorities are at this point playing catch up because they were not informed of this recall they literally only found out when we broke the story yeah, tell us Saturday. more about the authorities and where this leaves them so in in, in terms of the uh, National Consumer Commission they've almost given the supplier around 24 hours to get back to them we spoke to them yesterday uh, with it's a long time this. isn't it sorry it's, uh, it's 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 quite a while I mean they were supposed to be informed immediately in order to take appropriate steps mm. I mean if you look at, a, at, a, at a, a supplier such as or a convenience store such as ShopRite and Checkers they are continental. Uh, they don't only supply to shops and convenience stores uh, here in South Africa, but you know, uh, across the continent. And in particular, what's going to be very worrying moving forward is the informal sector because the NRCS has ordered that the affected products be removed from all wholesalers, all retailers, as well as informal traders. Now, how are you going to tell the spaza shop in a small township somewhere or a rural area to remove the product um, mm. when they don't have this particular information? Because you would know that far-flung areas, uh, low-income households that 
eat in particular tinned products like tinned fish uh, don't have really access uh, to, to, to media outlets uh, like ENCA in particular. And the story is far from over. Mm -hmm. Good to talk to you. Thanks, Definitely Lee. far from over. So today uh, we're hoping to hear from the National Consumer Commission with regards to the numbers. We don't know how many cans have been recalled. We don't know how many have been bought. We don't know how many have been consumed. But at mm. this point, uh, what is uh, very important to tell the public is that uh, they should be looking out for the codes ZST29, ZSC29, uh, ZST2, ZSC2, as well as the 12 uh, brands that I've um, uh, listed for you, and to immediately take back these products yeah. uh, to mm. the stores for a refund and not to consume them.